a really quick easy drink which is half a lemon this is just um, really good detox like drink use this even though I hate cleaning this <laughs> these lemons I got at Publix are a little bit hard but you got your lemon juice there and I'll just use really one squeeze of the lemon this is not that much water it's probably a little warmer than I need it to be but it's okay I'll let it sit for a bit it's in a while so I just got the apple cider vinegar the other day. And then a little bit of cayenne pepper. Just like that. Okay. But I will uh, wait for it to cool down a bit. Happy Vlogmas day four, right? Yay. Um, I want to show you guys my outfit. I just, I don't know, I really wanted to wear these pants that I had forgotten about. They're from Anthropology, but they're old. Um, but I, like, when I was cleaning the closet yesterday, I found them and I was like, oh, I want to wear them with booties. Um, this is just like an H&M silk, silk-ish top, not silk for sure. Um, the pants, if I find anything similar, I'll link them. And then these are leopard booties from Zara last year. So just a little work outfit. These pants are so comfortable. They're like... They like don't have like, they're like legging material at the top, but then they like flare out. They're super cute. I love them. Um, and I've only worn them like one other time, but I just found them in my closet last night. And I was like, oh, I'll wear these tomorrow. But all right, guys, I'm off to work and I'll update y'all later. Buscando al niño. Que viene lo máximo. Wow. This looks really good too. Guys, not gonna lie, I am mentally and physically exhausted from today. It is, what time is it? I have no idea. Like 6.45, got back home. I am like just feeling very dead. But I have yoga, yoga sculpt at 7.15. So I have to change and get into that spirit. But I, it's these days, I feel like it always like works out where I feel like I need yoga the most um, because it really helps with like mental clarity and just like more just like refocusing and balance. Um, but I'm going to grab some clothes that I have here. Um, and I can wear this, and this. I'm just trying to, oh crap, are these still wet? I always like let my leggings air dry, especially the ones from Lululemon because they're so expensive and I don't want them to pill. Um, but 
but yeah, let me go ahead and change and I'll get back on. Alrighty, time for some yoga sculpt. And this is what I look like after a very difficult yoga sculpt class. It was so hard, guys. So um, I right now I'm doing class pass because I like to have like a different variety of class options to do. And I travel so much that it doesn't make sense for me to have like an unlimited plan somewhere because um, it's honestly like significantly more expensive than if I do class pass. Sorry, this is like really annoying. Um, I'm wearing my Hamilton sweatshirt. Um, I'll lay you down right here. But yeah, ignore my face. But um, I go to either Core Power or this other studio in Atlanta called Burn. Um, and I do usually yoga sculpt. I really like it. It's very like mind clearing and like it really helps you like unravel or like, I don't know, just like focus on yourself for the day. Core Power is definitely harder. It's heated and it's one hour compared to Burn that it's like not heated and it's 45 minutes. And every time I go to burn, I'm like, okay, like I'm going to be better at core power this time, but I go to core power and I die and I have to like do a lot of mo modifications, but core power is also like way more yogi. Like what I, what I was saying is that core power is like a lot more yogi. So it's, there's like a longer, you know, kind of like stretching period, a longer like Shavasana and like in the beginning, um, it's way more kind of like they do a lot more yoga, you know? And then in core power, since only 45 minutes, like you go straight into like planks and push-ups, and you're like, oh my God. But I like both. Um, yeah, that's what I've been doing. And I'll do like cardio when I feel like it, but I really don't do it that often. And I need to be better and do more, but just for like being active, you know? Cause I'm like sitting at a desk all day. Oh, I'm dead. Um, you never regret a workout. I always say that. And so when I'm here, I try to schedule more workouts, but it's, it's very hard with my work schedule since the studios I like to go to are over here. And, um, the earliest class I can make it to is 630. And a lot of times the 630s are sold out. So, um, yeah, so the, this 715 one like is really good for me. Um, and sometimes I rush to the 630, like, and I change in my office and like just run out of the office and I'm able to make it. Um, but it just kind of depends because the traffic is like really bad coming usually from my office back to this, to the Atlanta area. Oh, tomorrow I do have a holiday party, so that'll be fun. And at least I'll like dress up and do something apart from going to work and like staying at my house. <laughs> but okay, guys, I'm going to make dinner. I'm going to eat the rest of the salad that I made yesterday and I'm going to grill some chicken and maybe make some asparagus. Does that sound good? Sounds good to me, I think. Maybe I'll do that. Okay guys, I'm showered. I still haven't eaten, but I will do that next. I hate eating late, but I can't eat like sweaty and gross from the gym. Um, I do wear like my hair up in a bun at Yoga Sculpt. I know it's disgusting probably, but I like just dry shampoo the heck out of my hair and it it's fine the next day. Um, Usually, I just like don't have time to do it. And tomorrow I have an event, so I know I won't like work out again after work. I don't know, I need to like figure out how to be on a better hair schedule. Like acid reflux. Watching my friend Megan's um, Vlogmas, so I'll link her channel down below. Um, she has like the cutest two kids and I love her accent too, so I'm watching her vlogs. And then um, I'm using the Tatcha the Essence, um, it's kind of like the SK2 uh, Essence and it's really good. This one's a plumping skin softener. I usually use it after I get out of the shower um, or after I wash my face. I already like cleaned up a bit with uh, Bioderma. And then my nighttime serum is the Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow. I love it, I use about this much. This sometimes will sting if I like exfoliate in the shower it just kind of depends sometimes my skin will like eat it up and sometimes it's like oh stingy this is the bobby brown extra repair eye cream this is very thick but i love it especially in the drier months 
Um, I think eye cream is so important. And then just make sure you're not like rubbing it. You're just like kind of dabbing it. And I bring it up all the way up here. Is it raining? I don't think so. This is just so quiet. So do that. And for my nighttime moisturizer, I switch it up. I do an oil some days. And then depending on how dry my skin feels, I'll do either the La Mer soft cream or the La Mer actual one. Um, this one, like my dad bought it and he was like, do you want it? Cause I don't like it. And I was like, um, yeah, I do. <laughs> so, um, I've used up a good amount of that, but I don't know how my skin feels good. So I'm going to use the moisturizing soft cream, which is a little bit lighter. Um, I got hair in it. My own hair. <laughs> and it, it really like sinks into the skin easier than the La Mer, but I feel like this one does, you can use, you use it up faster because you just end up using more product. I'll take the regular La Mer and put it on my back, on my back, put it on my back. That's a great way to waste money on my neck. Oh, here we are. And it's in a Christmas glass. And don't judge the ice because um, I'm a wine snob and I put ice in my red wine when it's like warm. <laughs> but I'm cooking, gonna relax. I'm probably gonna combine today and tomorrow since today was kind of a fail of vlogging and tomorrow I'll do more things. It'll be more exciting for y'all. Hopefully I'm cooking okra and some chicken and I'm gonna have uh, the rest of the salad I made last night. Having more water, I swear. That big hydro flask I have, I had it, I think seven times today. So water's doing good. So I deserve my wine after an hour and 10 minutes of hot yoga and like a full day of crazy work. Guys, I'm cooking my okra and chicken. And then I, I'm obsessed with this. It's a chili onion crunch from Trader Joe's. It is literally amazing and I add it to everything. It's so good. And I also add a bit of this. It's a Tessame's um, sugar-free organic lemon garlic marinade to the chicken and it's very good. I just add very little. It's delicious. going to call it a night because I know I have a long day tomorrow. My hair is looking great and I will see you in Vlogmas Day 5. Good morning guys. Happy Vlogmas Day 5. I just made my two drinks that I make in the morning. So water, cayenne pepper, lemon, and uh, apple cider vinegar, and then um, just some coffee with oat milk creamer quick OOTD. So I'm wearing this sweater dress that I bought in Spain last year from a boutique there. Uh, just some black tights and then these white Tory Burch booties. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll change the booties, but I'm running right on time. So I gotta go. I think I'll just wear these for today. Well, now that I completely shot on them the other day, here I am, but it's because my dad wanted a sandwich from here, so I just got my salad here. It's the sub in a tub, and it actually looks really good, so I'll have to compare and contrast to if I like the Subway one or this one better. <laughs> so this is the Jersey Mike salad, comparatively. I uh, believe, same price. Oh, I don't even think they gave me my receipt. I ended up going to Starbucks. I had lunch with my dad at the house because he's been working from there and he has an event tonight so I just wanted to like see him and then um, I ended up getting my winter coat for Boston. I had it there. I hadn't like moved it to my house yet. Uh, it's just like a puffy winter coat from Zara that I got last year uh, but this is the drink that I got at Starbucks. 
It looks very creamy, so hopefully I, I ordered it right. Holy crap. Holy, holy crap. Oh my lord, guys. The way I ordered it is a grande iced coffee, no classic, one pump only of the Irish cream, and then the vanilla cold foam on top. Oh my God. So don't get it the regular, or get it the regular way if you want, but that is more like sugary and sweeter. Mm. Holy crap. It's 65 degrees, so that's why I'm having a nice coffee. <gasps> mm. That is delicious. Wow, that's so good. Wow, <laughs> I'm so happy. I, um, I was super busy this morning and I had a meeting up until like 1.30 and now I'm heading back to the office and I have other things that I need to get done and do a bit more of organization. We use um, monday.com, I don't know if you guys use that. I have to like update all of um, the projects that I'm working on and, and I'm on like, I'm a part of like two different boards. So there's one that I'm uh, kind of like helping oversee the marketing department and then I also have um, the like other part that I'm working on with the implementation of our initiatives for our meat packaging distribution company so um, I need to like go through the boards and figure out what my next steps need to be because I think that's a lot of times where I get stuck it's just like I need to like know how to prioritize or where to prioritize because we're all so stuck in the like everyday like put putting out fires part of work um like to give you an example like our, the credit cards on our like business pandora stations expired so this morning um none of the restaurants had music <laughs> and then like only one person has access and then like one person was like well I don't have the password they don't remember the account that the, that Pandora had it so like we weren't able to update the credit card because no one could get into the Pandora business account so like of course this probably only needs one person but it's like a big deal people from all the different restaurants we have like uh 16 restaurants so they're all like freaking out over like the Pandora not working <laughs> um that's just one example of what we, of a fun day at the office. So tonight, my friend Reese invited me to a holiday party. So I'll do that. And then we, depending if he can like get out right after, cause it's like his work holiday party. Um, he can, like we might go get a drink somewhere. If not, I'll just go home. But I have to pack for Boston because tomorrow, I think my sister and I are gonna have dinner with my dad and I probably won't have a lot of time to pack and stuff after that. So yeah, need to figure out my life. But I'm really sore from Yoga Sculpt and I parked really badly. My car is good because it tells you if you parked correctly or not. And I usually don't park correctly. There you go. As long as I'm in between the lines, right? <laughs> but okay, guys, let's go do some more work. I have a bunch of papers I need to deliver to people. Alrighty. Perfect. So I'm ready for my friend's holiday party. So I'm wearing this kind of eclectic outfit. Um, I'm wearing this like shirt dress from ASOS. This is a like long wool vest from Massimo Dutti that I got last year. And I'm wearing those Just Fab booties. And then let me show you my purse. So good. Where did all this come from? I can't remember the name of the shop. Oh, God, you're too cool. Cheers with me. 
this is a gingerbread 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 with, with whiskey cream. whiskey cream like i can't it's the best thing i've ever tasted in my life so good if you go in shopping you can get a glass of balvenie if you uh, desire and really what it means for us as a as good partnerships work together is we have to have some synergies and the two synergies between the balvenie and billy reed is that we both pride ourselves on being exceptionally handcrafted and we appreciate the art of the craft. Whether that's from whiskey making to chocolate, to fishing rods, to clothing and where the fabric source, craftsmanship as a whole is something we champion and that's why we partner together on that front. The whiskey is here for you guys. Just use that as a social lubricant. I know a lot, <laughs> I know a lot of you guys might say, you know, single ball whiskey is sometimes a little bit la di da, a little bit. Uh. Us ambassadors at Balvenie don't take ourselves very seriously, but our whiskey is serious. Hi guys, so I'm back. Um, I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling my. Um, <laughs> I had such a good evening seeing my friend Reese. I'll insert some pictures, I think, done, 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 done. Um, but we had a great time. Uh, he is working at a really, really nice boutique in Atlanta and, um, in like West Midtown and he invited me to their holiday party. So it was so nice they had like really cute like craft whiskey cocktails beer wine whatever you wanted and then we ended up going to little trouble for a bit which is like a really cute japanese speakeasy and i loved it i had never been there but i've been dying to go so i'm glad i was able to go and check it out i really liked it and i want to go back um uh, but yeah that's it i just got back home i ubered back and forth because Drinking and driving is a no-go ever, 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 and I never do it. Um, like if I'm going, to, if I if I go to dinner, I know I'm having one glass of wine. I will do it. If not, if I know I might have two, I never ever do it. It's just not worth it to risk it. Um, that's what Uber is there for. That's what Lyft is there for, and it's so much cheaper. Like it was like ten dollars each way. Like so easy. But anyways, guys, I will end the vlog now. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys uh, watching along my very boring <laughs> average vlogmas. Um, but I really appreciate all of your kind words and all of your comments have meant so much to me. And I, I've loved learning about all of you too. A lot of you guys like commented like your age, like what you do, like if you have kids or not and stuff. And I love knowing that. And um, it just, I feel like it brings us closer together. And um, just anyways, I really appreciate you guys. I, I'm so happy to be able to have this as like a little tiny bit of a creative outlet, even though it's kind of small. And I don't even tell people about it in my life. Like, I, I think it's just like, if you find it, you find it. If you don't, you don't. But um, I really appreciate you guys. And so uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.